Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. While our June heat wave continues for us, still continuing to see temperatures close to 100 degrees, and that heat advisory is still in effect through 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. So we're going to see heat indexes, or what it feels like, close to 110 degrees. Highs in the 100s as we go through the weekend, and we've got to look at that drought update. We're going to see how we're doing rain-wise across the area right now. Today, we made it to a high of 99 out at Mathis Field. Normally, we average around 94, so we're a few degrees above average. That record of 108 back in 2012, that's our record high for the day. This morning's low of 76 is 6 degrees above where we normally are for morning lows. Our heat wave continues with our heat advisory in effect until 8 o'clock Friday evening for Erie and Tom Green, Concho, Ronalds, Coke, and Sterling Counties. For heat indexes of 105 to 109, that's what it's going to feel like as we go through Friday afternoon. Heat illness is what you're likely going to experience if you spend a whole lot of time without a lot of safety precautions out in the heat in the afternoon. It is currently 98 degrees right now out at the airport. Ignore that. It is not raining out at the airport. The sensors are malfunctioning. Um, clear conditions for us. Feels like 103 when you factor in the humidity of 37%. Winds out of the south at 14 miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 29.75 inches and falling rapidly. Let's talk about how you can stay safe out in the heat. You want to watch for heat illnesses to develop in yourself and others around you if you're spending time outside. And we want to prevent heat illness. Take breaks when you can in the shade or air conditioning. And drink plenty of water. Stay hydrated if you're spending time outside. Protect pets and provide them with plenty of water as well. They need to be protected. Can't forget about our four-legged furry friends. And never leave anyone or anyone or any pet in a hot car ever. That's a very dangerous, deadly situation, and you don't want to do that as we go into these hot days. All this hot weather is driven by what's going on of way up above our heads. This is our upper air tracker. You can see the jet stream here well up into North, Amer into north of the U.S. and then into Canada as well. So we've got this ridge of high pressure, upper level high pressure that's building in for us as we go through the week and into the weekend here. Jet stream still locked up into Canada here. So this is all providing us with sinking, drying, heating air for us as we go through the weekend. And it's going to remain in place for us as we go towards the middle of next week. The one thing we are noticing about this pattern is that it looks like this high wants to shift over to the Four Corners regions. And that is going to open the door for some cooler air to work into our part of Texas. We're going to take a look at that in our local outlook because it is sunny for us as we go through the weekend. Temperatures in the 100s as we roll through Saturday into Sunday into Monday, close to 100 once again. But as we head towards the middle of next week, look at that. Temperatures falling back into the 90s for us. We could be in the low to mid 90s as we head towards the middle and latter half of next week. The good news is in, current, in terms of the drought, things are a lot improved across our area for today with the exception of Crockett County, Southwest Crockett County, still seeing some moderate drought conditions, but much of an improvement for much of our area. Downtown movie night coming up on Friday. The feature will be My Spy, and it's looking pretty good, although a little on the warm side for downtown movie night tomorrow night. It's going to be across from the Cactus Hotel. Temperatures in the 90s starting out around 8 o'clock. Movie's going to start around 9.15. Temperatures still in the low 90s with mostly clear conditions. And then starting to fall into those 80s as we get towards 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Tonight, we'll drop down to around 77 with mostly clear conditions. 102 for Friday, mostly sunny and very hot conditions for us. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour as we go into the next five days. The heat continues as we go into the weekend. Temperatures near 100 degrees. Then, as we go towards the middle of next week, we're going to start to see those temperatures fall back into the mid to low 90s for daytime highs. We'll be back with more KCN News right after this.